This is a re-upload? Oh. What that? What the? What? What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? Uh, what the? F that whore nigga name is? Damn. Y'all know who I'm talking about. He stole his shit. Last but not least, the f introducing Elena and <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be one of those videos. What the? F <laughs> this is trying to get me in a diaper, bro. It's, it's cool move on. No, it's not cool move on. It's not. It was always exciting when my favorite streamers would go on air. They draw in thousands of viewers to see what crazy segments they would come up with. My streamers are my heroes. They do anything to entertain me, even if it means being harassed a degree. Hey, yo! In front of thousands. I ain't gonna lie, that. Okay, okay. No, no. <laughs> Even if it means being harassed, degraded, and humiliated. I ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie. This shit was mad gay. <laughs> that shit was mad gay. I Where's the brazy shower stream? Them. Nigga, I don't even have enough people. Nigga, I don't get paid enough to do that shit. Fuck on. The streaming and music. When I fly him out. Day, both falling under the umbrella of the entertainment industry. Each one equally offers a path to fame, a shot. Why do y'all freaky ass want a, a fucking shower stream anyway? The entertainment industry has <coughs> always been a shady business. It's a business that seeks to exploit as many people as possible, whether it be actors, musicians, or in modern day, live streamers. What truly makes me uncomfortable is the current cultural landscape of how this all works. Oh, Cancer <laughs> Raymond, bro. Uh -oh. Bro, go start your stream so we can do this wager. Please. But no, stop with that game. I seen that shit on Twitter. That shit was crazy. Nigga, I'm not gonna lie, nigga. If you as a grown ass man, grown man, grown man, if you put your Johnson anywhere near any of my body parts, I'm gonna smack this shit out you. I'm not matter of fact, I'm not gonna smack you. I'm gonna punch this shit out you. And I'm gonna keep and punching you, nigga. Say, what the fuck you just put your dick on me for, nigga? Bro, these streamers is under the same umbrella as these entertainers. That's all. Smack they are, this shit out the Johnson. Yeah, entertain. Horace. Yeah, bro, you've confirmed it for me, bro. Yeah, you're gay, bro. You're gay, and there's no and there's no changing it now. Number one, number one, you never talk about hoes. You always be talking about niggas. Number two, we went through the playlist. We found Nicki Minaj on your shit. And now number three, you you still talking about gay shit. It's over, bro. We caught you, gang. It's okay, though. It's okay. You still my boy. You still my boy. It's all right, bro. I won't look at you no differently. They have to go viral for their night. They have to do this on a consistent basis. It's not like a movie star where they get a lump sum. It's not like an NBA player when they get signed to a, sign a contract and just hoop and do the occasional photo shoots. You have to go live a certain amount of times in order to get that monthly revenue to get a good check next month. You got to go live a certain amount of times. You do? Yo, bro, why is he not banned? Yo, kick, how the fuck you not go? I mean, that make, I mean, that makes sense. Ban him, nigga. He just sexually Probably assaulted me on stream. This is how he reacted to sexual assault. So this is what happens to these streamers who sell their souls, especially when <laughs> they sell their soul to somebody like Aiden Ross. A new trend has emerged. Audiences have developed a morbid fascination with content that exploits people. Okay, I seen this shit happen live. Bro, this was not... <laughs> Bro, this shit was not no humiliation ritual, bro. These, this is just niggas being gay, nigga. I'm not going. <laughs> it's a difference between a humiliation ritual and niggas just being gay. These, these niggas just being gay. It was discomfort and vulnerability. The twisted interest has been caused by the revelations of P. Diddy, a one superstar now exposed as a groomer, rapist, murderer, and harasser. Despite the gravity of these accusations, phrases like diddled diddy parties and no diddy. Somebody told me that Horace the next P. Diddy. Ironically popular among the youth, what should be chilling reminders of predatory behavior have instead been transformed into a grotesque form of humor. In this dark cultural landscape, viewers eagerly tune in to see their favorite streamers placed in these uncomfortable, diddy like, degrading situations, all for the sake of a quick laugh. So they can spam hey, Diddy. I, I, my nigga, do you gotta play like this whole clip though? Like the line mm. between entertainment and exploitation has been blurred, and that is gonna cause for a lot the of problems. The real husband and of for Diddy. To act what the fuck is this nigga scroll? What channel is this? Nigga, 
What the f The most recent <clears throat> victim of this being Mr. Blackboard Max, who recently spoke out about how the multi-million dollar streaming company FaZe Clan pushes him and tries to get him to do degrading and uncomfortable things <laughs> even when he strictly says he doesn't want to do them they will unfairly try to force him into doing what the f was the godly k channel um i used to be like i used to play gta rp and shit and i was like a rp nigga so like yeah bro, nigga said nigga bitch win nigga this shit was like 2021 bro this nigga said it's cool move on no it's not cool move on it's not Bro, y'all can see it. I didn't even know I was in Miami smacking my ass doing all type of crazy shit. Bro, like, and they're seeing me on my hand. It's, you should never, ever let go of your morals, ever. It is very evident that Max has come to regret his past actions as he can now see how this industry has set him up to humiliate himself in the past. Nah, nigga, nah, nah, nigga, nah, nigga. This nigga Max was on stream. Nigga got told, Drake drop, Drake drop. When he found out Drake didn't drop, this nigga dropped his pants, bent over, and smacked his ass. There is no humiliation for this nigga. This nigga be humiliated of himself. Like, He's bro, change, why did he do that? I still don't know why he do did so. that gay ass. Like, bro, I'm not walking down Melrose. Right Max used to be bro. fun to watch, bro. He still is. Like, go on Fairbuck and not as there forever. No, I'm trying to mature and grow as a person. And so it's like, bro, when niggas is making up rules, literally making it. So he I just don't hit the same after he joined phase. Bro, I feel like, I feel like that's just because he getting bigger, bro. Like the nigga has 50,000 subs. It's like, bro, it's like when the AMP had their first house, do, do that, do that, uh, version of Kai hit the same as now? F no, nigga, but like. Ain't shit you can do about it. niggas getting bigger and niggas like adapting to their situations. Everything niggas is telling me. You just gotta enjoy their shit for what it is, is, bro. The fact that niggas is just, it feels like niggas just wanna sexualize me in a weird way that I'm not comfortable being sexualized. And Why the like, fuck is okay, Gaul standing I like that? <laughs> they probably don't see it like that, but I see it like that because that's what's happened. Guys, I'm literally on gay Twitter, all type of shit. Niggas hitting on me thinking I'm not and it's like bro now I'm getting back in the car I'm expressing myself and Ron smirk and niggas laughing no one niggas don't take me serious It's like bro. Yeah, I see I'm mad. Why are you gonna come back here? And when you see I'm mad and I'm visually thinking about things you gonna make it a clip or make it something niggas could talk about in Twitter communities No one niggas don't take me serious they not gonna take you serious because number one, you black and you done made yourself they little clip toy. Is that plug song? You they boy toy, you they clip yeah. toy. Whenever they want to clip, they go into your stream. Whenever they want to come up a little bit, they go into your stream. Whenever they want a little bit of our culture, they go into your stream. You ain't nothing but the nigga. Don't forget that. They, they not gonna take you serious. They don't feel how you feeling, bro. They don't his solo streams and not having this many people in his streams was when he used to be crazy fun to watch think the amount people makes it mad ca mad chaotic i mean like <clears throat> i think like that's the point though them niggas was just literally having a f war on stream bro the point is to make it chaotic like that's that's the whole angle they going for do that shit they don't do the shit that you do they don't sacrifice the things that you sacrifice so when you come up to them laughing or trying to be real and have a real conversation what you expect them niggas to do sympathize with you all of y'all sold y'all souls none of y'all niggas <laughs> have a shred of consciousness none of y'all have a shred of empathy damn but you saying you trying to mature and grow as a person yet you still hanging with people who laugh in your face when you being dead serious it's time to reevaluate it's time to reevaluate if that's really what you're trying to do my nigga it's sad to strong see. opinions. I do hope Max can Bro, think get everyone out of sold his soul. Somewhat, or at least get out of Face Clan, which he has a contract with, because he literally is forced to make videos with these people that don't respect him, that want to humiliate him. And another streamer also spoke Bro, about hey, hey, yo. humiliation rituals being boost drop him off. Someone else who was supposed to be in Face, Boost stated that when he was going to visit LA, Ron and Lacey were going to film a video with him of them giving him fried chicken and watermelon. Literally a humiliation initiation. That what? <laughs> what? He the type of nigga to see Brazy Soul gone too. That shit definitely gonna happen. Nigga, I'm not gonna sell my 
fucking soul, bro. Oh my god, bro. Like, dude, like, bro. Niggas do not gotta sell their soul to blow up, bro. I'm not gonna sell my fucking soul to blow up, bro. For him to join Face Clan, not just that, but clips of literally Ron saying that I was pushing to make Boos join Face Clan. Twin, why them niggas thought I was finna do a mukbang with them and they got chicken and watermelon? What's wrong with them white boys? What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them trying to set niggas up for humiliation rituals and shit? I ain't gonna lie, if that is true, that's bad. That's real bad. I ain't gonna lie, nigga, that's bad. I ain't going. This was two months lie. ago. Bruce did not want to join Face Clan because, as he said, they were setting him up for humiliation, which was Bruce is someone who's been in the industry for around eight years. So it makes Damn. sense why, you know, he knows the industry and knows what to avoid. Max, who's up and coming, didn't know any better and now he's stuck in this predicament it's truly sad bro y'all see i'm mad why are you gonna come back here and when you see i'm mad and i'm visually thinking about things you're gonna make it a clip or make it something niggas could talk about in twitter communities bro y'all see that why would y'all make me the center of attention y'all could have talked it would have been cool i was just on the side being quiet because i wasn't comfortable doing something Niggas start laughing. The nigga Jason playing hoes mad. I understand we be trolling, but when y'all see, I'm really, there's really something that's bothering me on a real life level. Why y'all gonna make it content? <clears throat> that don't make no sense, bro. I don't get that. When these niggas hit they sub goal, whatever, who's the first nigga in their room ready to dance with them and celebrate their accomplishments? Bro, are we friends or is it, are we just content? Like, bro, these niggas, I view them all as friends, bro. Why are y'all gonna literally sit here why y'all gonna sit here and do that to me? I don't get that. Niggas Damn, that nigga was just, really hurt. I'm not comfortable being, I don't want that to happen, bro. And even though I laugh it off on stream, nah, y'all niggas talking about my ass. Like, I said that like they didn't try and force that nigga to wear a diaper and walk down, walk up and down the fucking street with that bitch on. Yeah, nigga, yeah. Yeah, nigga, I be hurt. I ain't gonna lie, nigga, I be pissed too, nigga, because what the fuck? That shit jokes, I get it. Pierce being, the shit funny, I get it. Like, nigga, me and Jason be doing wedgie matches, bro. This shit jokes. But it's like, bro, there are certain things we all have morals. That's too far, bro. And that was one of my things. So then why are you going to gaslight me and make it where I'm the center of attention in the car? Everyone is becomes awkward and it feels like no one can talk when I'm just being silent to myself. Is this nigga playing Naruto trap music in the background? You couldn't find no better beats? You couldn't find no better beats. I don't understand that, bro. I don't get that. It doesn't make no sense to me. And I don't care what no one say about me. You can say whatever. That's how I feel. And you can't tell me shit because that's how I feel. Like, it has not. I'm not even over here. Them niggas we don't said gotta make this about race at all. That's just literally matches. how I feel, bro. That got it. These are my. Are you my friend or not, nigga? The fuck? I, I, like, I don't get that, bro. Have y'all ever got wedgie before? At the end of the day, I when it comes to something like that, that, that niggas would draw the line, bro. Silky would not. Bro, that nigga would not let me. Bro. Come on, bro. Suki is another African American, similar to Max. However, Suki left temporarily to go back to New York. It's also possible that Suki saw the weird energy that Faze was on and decided to take a break. Oh, there's no number. Oh, Silky! Oh, Silky! Oh my God! Oh my God! Silky and Rage and Max running a fucking BBC train on me. But that kind of left Max alone in what the situation by himself. What is this picture? What the f is that Jay picture of Jason? Here. It's kind of clear that these guys that have been in the industry for a while are kind of avoiding certain things. Well, Max got caught off guard and he's paying the price for it. Z Prime, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, ah, I think this nigga ODing a little bit. He making this shit seem like this shit a whole fucking pyramid scheme, nigga. It's not that deep, bro. Every time I see Aiden, I know some freak shit coming. <laughs> because that's what he do. He degraded himself to the point where he don't, he don't have no self-respect. Every time you see him, it's just gonna be freak shit. Cause that's what he created himself to be. That's what he created himself to be, bro. That's what he did to get to the point where he at. I tell y'all all the time, bro, it wasn't hard for Aiden to blow up, bro. And I know a lot of niggas is going to, like, turn their nose up at me. You feel me? A lot of niggas is going to act like I'm crazy for saying another nigga. <laughs> Damn, nigga in the chat said Aiden disgusts me. <laughs> 
<laughs> up was easy. You feel me? But it wasn't hard for Aiden to get attention. He was just willing to lose himself for the clout. He was willing Aiden to do no things walk that he knew would get a reaction like, What the fuck is an emasculation? He was willing to do things that he knew would get eyes. You feel me? He was willing to do things that you're not willing to do because you got morals. He ditched his morals to get to where he at. Because Aiden Ross was at that all-white booty party. Same vein, like, you know, doing you talking about it? Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Maggie decides to do. Do y'all see this big ass nigga? Look at what this big ass nigga decide. He decided to grab him by the hips. Yeah. There's no point. Did you choose an advanced fuck and you need protection? No. Like, that's there, true. Wasn't a, there wasn't a point to that. That was just an oopsie, usually. But this is what these hey, niggas do yeah. because it's clip farming. Got a clip farm. You have to clip farm. As a streamer, if you don't clip farm, then you won't make it. That's what they all say. Literally, so though. That's what everyone does. And because of this, a new disease has emerged. Let's announce. Chat, y'all think I'll be clip farming? But this is the real me. This is who I've been feeling like for fucking years now. And I'm finally ready to come forward to the world and let everybody know that this is who I fucking am. My name's Lacey. I'm gay and I like. And you're not gonna do anything about it. Max, I swear. Oh no, oh no, not this video. Oh, not this video, <laughs> not this video. Why the f did he say this gay ass shit, bro? Well, nigga, if I go on a date with Dookie, nigga, I'm bagging the fuck out of that nigga, and now I'm fucking the fuck out of it. Like, I would bag Duke. There's no way that nigga wouldn't want my light skin ass. He's pulling on my braids, all that. That nigga. What? About me, chat, I promise. And my ass is fat. I promise y'all niggas no fucking cap, bro. I'm pulling Dookie. Max, big five star shit. I will really- This shit is bad, bro. My favorite streamer is gay, bro. This shit is bad, bro. You get Max tatted on my throat, so this nigga knows it's his. Hey, yo! I still know it's- This throat belongs to him. I get it- I get Max tatted on my booty. Five star on my right cheek, Max on my left cheek. So he knows I'm his property, you feel me? Real shit. I'm even preserving my virginity for Max. That is a clip farm. That's the length that people are willing to go to to be famous that's what they're willing to sacrifice nigga said my favorite streamer is you imagine how i feel what nigga what nigga i'm not gay what 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 the what the fuck do that even mean dignity their self-respect all of it for money and it is so normalized that everyone is doing it even kids hey, they yep. think that it's the only way to become famous I'm an older man. I don't use the internet much. However, I came across a random Instagram post and it's led me down this weird rabbit hole of individuals who call themselves Twitch streamers. Individuals who willfully humiliate themselves in front of you thousands deleted of viewers general and so your paid homo for it. side was some exposed. of them being touched inappropriately I don't know what and this some of them about, doing bro. the inappropriate <laughs> touching. My child told me that they get paid really well and are seen as A-list celebrities similar to musicians hold on what the fuck is this nigga talking about i'm an older man i don't use the internet i came across a random instagram post let me down this weird rabbit hole individuals who call us some weird whoa weird rabbit hole of individuals who call themselves twitch streamers chat no bullshit i know y'all niggas remember when when damn near every fucking stream i kept saying twitch streamers got a bad fucking rap what do you mean this weird rabbit individuals who who willfully humiliate themselves in front of thousands of viewers and they get paid for it bitch i don't humiliate myself i'm just being me Ho -head, nigga. some of them being some of them being touched inappropriately and some of them being and some of them doing the inappropriate touching my child told me that they get paid really well and are seen as a a a celebrities similar to musicians okay nigga that's cap nigga they are not nigga the only twitch streamer that's probably like an a-list celebrity is kai and speed nigga that's that's it this is very concerning does the entertainment industry have a hidden humiliation clause that i'm uh, unaware of i mean probably nigga literally anything helps as i'm trying to find answers as it seems as if my child looks up to these streamers yeah ggs your your kid is cooked buddy this now deleted post appeared on the subreddit r slash bruce drop them off 
The Reddit account seemed to belong to a teenage girl, however the message that was read was written by someone claiming to be her father. Okay. Michael Rubin. Robert Kraft. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? The industries if are If you guys all enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see. All right, this was this is definitely the strangest video I've watched today. If you watch this shit on YouTube, sub up, nigga.